Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week four of the NFL preseason right now with SBR contributor Doug Upson. We're going to discuss uh, the Ravens and the Saints. Doug Upson, thanks for being with us. Peter, glad to be back here once again. And yeah, we have uh, two teams that have yet to taste a, a, a loss so far this uh, this preseason. Yeah, both the Ravens and the Saints are 3-0 and against the spread uh, this preseason. And the Saints are 11-1 and against the spread over the last three preseasons. Uh, but they did lose their week four games over the last two preseasons. They just got the coverage because they were an underdog here, though. They're a favorite and they have they appear to be of taking uh, some money there. The line is Saints minus three juiced and the total is 43 and a half. And uh, I think that uh, Ryan Griffin is going to be uh, playing most of the time at quarterback for the Saints. And Baltimore is going to have uh, Tyrod Taylor playing a bulk of the time um, for the Ravens. And, uh, you know, this is just a question of which team do you think, which team's backups do you think are going to be more effective here? I'm assuming that New Orleans is going to rest their defensive starters. And uh, if that's the case, then uh, I, I kind of like Tyrod Taylor to have a good game. He's played pretty well this preseason, very efficiently. And uh, the Ravens getting three points, that would be the side that I would uh, go to. What do you think, Doug? Yeah, I'm going to go uh, opposite of you again, Peter. Okay. And, you know, it, it's a matter of just uh, how you view, you know, handicapping strategies at this time of year. And myself personally, you know, I, in terms of the, you know, the individual players specifically, uh, in terms of especially quarterbacks, I don't get all that caught up in that. And I've had success by not doing that. And in this case, I think look at the coaches more so than the quarterbacks. And Sean Payton has a history, as you just mentioned, of winning games in August. He likes to have his team prepared. And I think this also translates to all the players on the team, not just the starters. So I look at them in terms of their backups. I think they're going to be ready to play. Uh, be, I think they'll be playing at home. I think uh, Baltimore, conversely, uh, John Harbaugh, not saying he's not competitive because he certainly is. But in this case, I'm not sure that his team goes all out, maybe as New Orleans, and especially, again, before the home crowd. I will think I still like um, New Orleans minus the points in this spot. Well, we're going head to head once again, Doug Upson. This is great. This is what makes, you know, exciting videos on YouTube here. <laughs> Controversy. There we go. Two guys going head to head. All right, you're going to take the Saints minus three. I'm going to go with the Ravens at plus three. We shall see who comes out on top. Thanks so much, Doug.